speaking with my cousin one day, she recommended a book that was written by her pastor when he lost his son in a car accident. The book was called Have Heart, Bridging Gulf Between Heaven and Earth. After reading that book, I started following, listening to his weekly sermon online. During that time, I would pray and can honestly say that I could even feel God's presence at times. But not once did I ever read or study the word on my own. I continued to live with unconfessed sin, and there was no sign of any fruits of his spirit in my life. So fast forwarding to March of 2020, I moved to New Braunfels to be close to my grandchildren after retirement. I had grown weary of watching church online during COVID, and I prayed that God would find me a home church and a women's Bible study in this new town I now lived in. In June of 2023, God led me to Compass Bible Church, and my first Compass Church experience was at the women's breakfast. The first person God put in my path at Compass was Kathy Ekman. I believe that Kathy would agree with me that it was definitely a Holy Spirit ordained meeting. I met Kathy as she and I were walking into the church, and I boldly introduced myself to her. The next day, I attended my first church service and heard the message preached by Pastor Hayden. Somehow, I just knew that God had led me to a home church. After that, I joined the life group led by Bob and Barb Johnson, where I met a great group of people who know God intimately, and this stirred my heart to want to seek God. So once again, I believe God used Kathy to lead me in my search for God to know God. One Sunday, I noticed Kathy had this book called Partners. I asked her about it, and she showed me the book and explained to me how it works. I bought one that very day before I went home. At the next life group meeting, I mentioned it to Barb that I was interested in doing the Partners program, and she volunteered to partner with me. This was the beginning of self-examination of my spiritual inventory. As I studied the chapters and partners, I would silently pray, oh God, please let me be saved. Or I, in studying the partners book, I began to question I needed to be rebaptized, if I needed to be rebaptized. I sought the guidance and counsel from Pastor Hayden. Pastor Hayden explained and discussed with me the four types of soil as represented in the parable of the sower, sower from Matthew 13. He gave me a book to read called The Gospel of Jesus Christ by Paul Washer. Uh, in reading the book, I paid careful attention to the sections on self-examination for salvation and the awareness of salvation chapters. I was able to affirm the questions asked in the self-examination based on my experience in 1980, but when it came to the assurance chapter, I realized that everything I read was what I was feeling since I had been at Compass. So it was my belief that it was at this time my real conversion happened. In contrast to what I thought was my conversion in 1980, my real conversion happened in a very quiet, private, intimate moment with God. God revealed to me that after all these years, I was never really saved. I thought I was, but I never was. So through the Sunday service messages, weekly life group discussions, the partners program, and being in God's word, I am ready to admit that I was not saved in 1980. Like the rocky ground parable, I heard the message, but the seed was sowed on rocky ground, and it had taken 44 years for it to root, and I finally am ready to surrender to Jesus. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know exactly when it happened, but I know I am a new creation and really born again this time because I have Jesus in my life. I have new desires that cause me to want to know God, to please him, and to have a relationship with him. 
I look forward with excitement to my life group meetings and Bible studies because I enjoy having fellowship with Christ and his people and learning the, his word. I am seeing a decreasing pattern of sin in my life as I learn to walk in obedience with, to God. I am so grateful that I finally got right with God. I give praise, glory, and honor to God for pursuing me all these years in order to bring me to salvation. To God be the glory. Well, Linda, it's based upon your profession of faith, my sister, that I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 